So Gaskin's crime spree would crumble because of someone close to him. Walter Neely, the brother of Diane Neely, had worked with Pee Wee on many of his contract killings. The pair was involved in a car theft racket that more or less proved them with a steady income. Near the end of 1975, Gaskins would be in handcuffs again, but the car theft was just the charge rather than murder. That same December, Neely decided to turn state's evidence against Gaskins. It was in May of 1976. Both went on trial for the, the Yates killing and other murders. Neely received a life sentence, whereas Gaskins was sentenced to death. To avoid the death penalty, Gaskins began confessing to a slew of crimes and cooperated with prosecutors in finding the bodies of many of those victims. Pee Wee ultimately confessed to killing 110 people in total. But the police only managed to recover 14 bodies. Later, Pee Wee denied most of these confessions, which seems par for the course for this little Weasley sack of crap.